Henley Vocabulary, Lesson 37, Part 1. Our first word is capio, capere, kepi, captus. This is a pretty fun word. Think of capture, and you can see that pretty clearly in the fourth principle part. Capio means what it seems like, take or capture. Next we have fugio, fugere, fugi, fugaturus. Think of a fugitive, running away from the law. That'll help you remember flee. And then we have facio, facere, feci, factus. Think of a factory, a place where a lot of new things are created. That'll help you remember do or make. Next we have voluntas, voluntatis. Think of a volunteer. Because voluntas means goodwill or will. And a volunteer is someone who gives out of their goodwill instead of getting paid. Next we have anus e. Think of annual, which is a word that means something that happens once every year. Then we have vigilia. I like to think of the word vigilant, which is a word that we use to describe someone who needs a lot of endurance and strength over a long period of time. That's a vigilant person. And a vigilant person is needed to perform a watch. Now this isn't the watch that you put on your wrist. This is the kind of watch where you stay up all night protecting your fellow brothers and sisters, your family, whoever it is, and you're protecting them in the night from, from bad guys. That's this kind of watch. And you need to be vigilant to be able to stay up in the night for that sort of thing. All right, next we have tempus, temporis. Think of the word temporary, because that refers to time. And then we have dies, diei. There's a super famous Latin phrase that you should learn if you don't know it already, which is carpe diem. Carpe is actually a word we just learned just a moment ago, which is capio, remember, which means take or capture. We change the form up a little bit. It turns into carpe, which means take as a command. So we say car carpe diem, which means seize the day. Dies means day. Then we have another time word, hora, which kind of means what it sounds like. It means hour. Then we have primus aum. Now we're getting to numbers a little bit. Don't get this one confused with the adverb form we learned earlier. You can see the us a um here, which shows us that it's an adjective instead. It means first. You might think of prime as in a prime number, like the number one. First number in the list of numbers. <laughs> then we have secundus a um. You can probably guess what this means. Yep, that's it second. And then we have another way to say second, alter, altera, alterum. Second. Think of an alter ego like Batman and Bruce Wayne. Two different identities. The second of two identities. And then we have tertius aum. If you uh, follow the pattern that we've go been going through here, you can probably guess what this one means. It means third. All right, let's see if we can go back through these words and review them. Our first word is capio, capere, kepi, cactus, which means take or capture. Then we have fugio, fugere, fugi, fugitoris, which means flee. Then we have facio, facere, feci, factus. But remember, factory, this means do or make. Then we have voluntas, voluntatis, which means goodwill or just will, as in your desire to do something. Then we have anus, e which means year. Then we have vigilia. Remember, vigilant. This word means watch. 
It often goes with primus to mean first watch, or secundus, second watch, people taking turns. All right, then we have tempus, temporis, which means time. Then we have dies, diei. Bonus points if you can remember the phrase. The phrase is carpe diem, which means seize the day. Because dies means day. Then we have hora, horai, which means hour. And then we have our numbers, or our list of numbers, our order. Primus, aum, which means first. Then we have secundus, aum, which means second. And alter, altera, alterum, which is another way to say second. And then we have tertius, aum, which means third. Great job, guys. Work hard to memorize these words, and you'll be ready for this lesson.